What an obvious question. Will the profit reports push the stocks higher? Donald Broughton, who covers the transportation space at AG Edwards, joins us now from St. Louis this morning. Good to join us here. I do appreciate that. Uh, we're waiting for numbers to come out from Union Pacific this morning. What do you expect we're going to hear? And, and I guess the more important question is, how is that likely to give us a look into the window of the railroad stocks? Well, um, uh, we're less really listening about what they did in the fourth quarter because that's really pretty much already been told. Not only in the numbers that are uh, reported weekly to the American Association of Railroads, but also in that UP, uh, Union Pacific came out and pre-announced uh, what to expect. Uh, we're more interested actually in seeing what it is they're going to do in the first quarter, uh, hearing about how they're responding to the uh, lines that have been washed out or covered with mud, uh, bridges that have been washed out as a result of the... Uh, the big storms out west. Yeah. That's right. The people may not Absolutely. realize just how severe the, the impact could be. Yeah, but what's interesting to me is that uh, when we look at transportation companies, uh, they're all uh, uh, at times uh, subjected to Mother Nature, uh, but some of them uh, manage through those, and others uh, cry they were victimized by them. Uh, interesting, too, because we're hearing we have the other ones coming in as well. I understand, you know, you have uh, for Union Pacific and also for Burlington a certain, I guess there's a divergence between what we can expect from the Western Railroads versus the Eastern Railroads. Why is that? Well, I think that there's a divergence between the two Westerns and there's a divergence between the two Easterns. Mm -hmm. um, understand that uh, it's cheaper to build uh, a rail line along the creek through the middle of a valley uh, than it is up uh, a little higher on the hill uh, initially. Uh, but in the long term, uh, when the creek rises, uh, the, the line that's down by, uh, down the middle of the valley uh, gets flooded and the one that's up on the side of the hill doesn't. Um, and we've seen again and again what we believe to be better strategic spending by the Burlington Northern, uh, allowing it to uh, weather the circumstances, if you uh, excuse the pun, uh, better than, it's better than uh, its uh, competitor, Union Pacific. And the same is true uh, out of the east. Uh, you know, we saw uh, hurricane after hurricane come through the southeast uh, uh, end of uh, last summer, early last fall. Norfolk Southern blew the earnings away, did a great job, reported record results. Uh, meanwhile, CSX uh, reported, oh, the hurricanes hurt us. We were hurt by the hurricanes and missed numbers. Interesting. Uh, regardless, the dollar certainly has an impact on this sector. A uh, weaker dollar helps the railroads, I understand. Oh, absolutely. Uh, there's a couple of basic reasons. Uh, one of them is, is that uh, the United States is still a very natural resource rich country uh, and we are undoubtedly uh, one of the most efficient, if not the most efficient, uh, producer of a host of agricultural products from uh, paper pulp to uh, corn, rice, uh, soybeans uh, to um, uh, chicken and beef. Uh, but whether or not you decide uh, that you want to buy any of those natural resources, coal, iron ore, etc., from us for agricultural products from us may have everything to do with the value of our dollar relative to your currency and nothing to do with how efficient we are at uh, manufacturing that raw material. So when the dollar drops in value, uh, our, our products become more attractive on a worldwide market and uh, we sit, tend to see a demand uh, pick up and of course railroads have to move that to the coast to be exported. Now you flip it on over, we have uh, FedEx and UPS, we've got about a minute left here. Let's talk about them a little bit. Uh, sure. They're moving a lot of stuff around as well. Dollar impact, obviously, on them as well. Where do you see them fitting into this picture? Well, uh, there's a dollar impact, but understand that FedEx and UPS are moving high-value, low-density type products in which uh, the cost of transportation is a minor component of the cost of goods delivered. Uh, again, though, there is an example of uh, the weather phenomena. Uh, UPS coming out uh, two weeks ago saying, oh, the weather hurt us and we're not going to make our numbers, and FedEx immediately uh, thereafter releasing uh, that they uh, were seeing no effects from the weather and we're going to be able to manage through it. Uh, in fact, we uh, upgraded uh, the shares of FedEx to buy this morning. Well, so much more to talk about. Unfortunately, got to do it another time around. Leave it there for now. Uh, Mr. Broughton, thanks very much. Appreciate it. Donald Broughton from H.G. Edwards out in St. Louis.